Hello, this is Lee, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Today's topic is about our thyroid. So the thyroid is in charge of energy metabolism. So, and for the past, uh, let's see, I started in Boston 2000, the past uh, 17 years, and I treated many young ladies, I would say between age of 13 to 18 years old, and uh, I noticed that um, they all diagnosed as hypothyroid condition, and they started taking the synthoid. And um, I was uh, kind of uh, wondering what caused this uh, early onset of the thyroid dysfunction. And, and then I, I uh, tried to uh, trace the medical history, and they all took a birth control pill for acne, uh, for avoiding pregnancy, or um, um, just different reasons for, uh, or regulate their period because they have irregular period as teenagers, which is normal. Um, and then I read some book. Uh, one is uh, uh, Dr. Stephen Horst, and the other one is a gynecologist, uh, Dr. Dean, Carolyn Dean. And they cast this word called estrogen dominance, meaning that uh, when you don't ovulate or when your ovary function is not uh, sufficient, you don't produce enough progesterone. So the estrogen is out of balance with progesterone. And in that condition, even though you have normal um, thyroid hormones, but uh, the body, especially the liver, produce a kind of protein bind with uh, the thyroid hormones. So you can have normal blood test but uh, the thyroid hormone actually not working. And that's how patients, uh, especially the teenagers, get like uh, low energy, foggy head, uh, gaining weight. Um, and then it make their period even more irregular. So um, if um, they can find other way to reduce the acne or uh, avoid a pregnancy by using condom, um, then I think their thyroid function will be much better. At this young age, I just think their body can fix or repair themselves if they eat right, if they uh, sleep at the right time with the right hours. Um, there's also a link recently, if you read some articles about how birth control increased the rate of autoimmune disease and uh, thyroid cancer. So autoimmune disease is uh, linked with imbalance of the hormone, especially estrogen dominance condition, and the hyperactive immune function produce more antibody to attack different area, and uh, some people will be the thyroid, so the Hashimoto thyroiditis, and some people with the colon and colitis or Crohn disease, depends on how your gene, where is your weakest point. Um, so I think for the young girls, for the parents, I think uh, at that young age, I don't think synthroid is a uh, uh, best treatment for the hypothyroid condition. Um, I think if you really need to take that, keep the lowest dosage, and uh, using other holistic method, acupuncture and diet changing to improve your thyroid function. Actually, Dr. Stephen Hertz, he thinks that thyroid hormone can be very low and even zero. For adults, they won't die, but if you put a patient on uh, synthroid and the dosage is a little bit higher than it should be, then um, they can have heart problems, uh, they can have all the metabolic abnormality, and it's dangerous. Uh, hyper is always dangerous. Hypo, you don't feel well, but it's not gonna be life-threatening. 
Um, the second point to keep low dosage or avoid synthroid at this early age is that you thyroid uh, have a lot of potential there. So if you use low dosage to supplement um, or to uh, improve, not improving, just just uh, like compensate the thyroid function, then your thyroid gland is still working. Um, you can, if you run out of medications or in the condition that you don't have the medication, then you can stop any time. But if you are on high dosage, your thyroid gland can completely shut down. And that's the time you solely rely on medication. And that's a dangerous condition. So if you want to have more information about how thyroid adrenal gland or estrogen or progesterone, how they work together, you can come to my website, bostonchineseacupuncture.org. I have videos and I have articles. You can search thyroid and then it will bring up all the information you need to heal yourself naturally. Thank you.